Uh, I'm Matthew Heisinger, senior project engineer in our Chicago office. And my story of innovation is about the work we did in collaboration with our wind tunnel partner, RWDI, on the upper level wind climate study for Kingdom Tower, which will be the world's tallest building at over 1,000 meters tall. Now, although Thornton Tomasetti has significant experience in super tall building design, building to new heights comes with its own engineering and design challenges. In particular, wind forces and corresponding building motions will impact the structural system we choose and our approach to design. So in considering design wind speeds, we must first consider the atmosphere. The lowest sublayer of the Earth's atmosphere is referred to as the atmospheric boundary layer and is approximately 600 meters in height. Now in this sublayer, the airflow is directly affected by the Earth's topography. So therefore, the airflow is turbulent. So it's with this understanding in mind that building codes and wind tunnel tests accommodate for wind loads by measuring ground level wind speeds and then extrapolating upwards using a power law curve like the one shown on screen. However, Kingdom Tower extends to even higher reaches of the atmosphere into a layer known as the planetary boundary layer. In this layer, airflow is not directly affected by the Earth's surface, and so engineering design values are not well understood. As engineers, it's our responsibility to understand these wind loads and relative to established code standards. So therefore, we commissioned our partners at RWDI to complete a three-part wind climate assessment. First, historical surface wind measurements were studied. Hourly wind speed information has been collected at the nearby King Abdulaziz International Airport and anemometer station since 1983. This wind data was analyzed and adjusted to account for local uh, terrain obstructions or building obstructions. Similarly, historical weather balloon sounding data was reviewed. Now, unlike ground anemometers, weather balloons, like the one pictured at center, record wind inf information at various heights as the balloon rises. So therefore, based on this data, the frequency of wind speed at various elevations can be accurately estimated. Third, a weather research forecast model was enacted. Now, in simple terms, a WRF is simply a computer model to simulate atmospheric circulation. The model contains a 3D grid of weather data encompassing a given area. So the model was executed in an area centered over the Arabian, Arabian Peninsula, which includes the tower site, and analytical results were used to estimate wind speeds over the one kilometer building height. So the results of the climate assessment are shown on screen. The red curve represents code level ground wind speeds that are extrapolated upwards using the power law curve I discussed earlier. This is what we use for strength design of the building. The climate study results, both the weather balloon and the WRF, demonstrate comparably lower wind speeds, meaning we can be sure the code values are demonstrated to be sufficiently conservative along the entire building height. The climate study results are also used for consideration of building motions. With this information in hand, we are better able to consider occupant comfort along the building's 165 occupied stories. In addition, our WDI will use this newfound understanding of wind speeds to assist the contractor during construction, as uh, weather conditions can become quite a challenge at these high elevations. So as you might imagine, a very tall building plus high wind speeds means big foundations. Pictured here is tower construction progress as of this month. Piles over 100 meters deep are installed, and concrete pours for the five meter thick concrete foundation mat are ongoing. Remaining construction is expected to take about four years. So in closing, as an engineer working on Kingdom Tower for the last several years, the question I most often hear from others is, how much taller can we build? Of course, I can't definitively answer that question, but I can say by combining the upper level wind climate assessment with our existing knowledge base, we can confidently design taller than ever before. Thank you.